Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Well guys, I think we arrived at the end here. In my intention, this will be the last episode of the series. I know there's still a lot to do if you check these values. And let's check the milestones. If there's any breathable atmosphere. Okay, so nothing, uh, nothing crazy here. I checked this because I fo totally forgot that we have to dig a lake to get this one. Okay, so my plan is that uh, I will continue to play and I make a short, uh, not a short announcements as I as I go along. Uh, what's the progress? And that will be it, because as I said multiple times, uh, the interesting part is over. Now we have just have to have the 1000 colonists and fully terraform in, in Mars and basically that's it. So let's uh, uh, look around. Oh, we still have one final cold wave. All right. Now let's check the power situation. Uh, well, maybe we need one more fusion reactor. So let's build one quickly. There. But besides that, I think we are we are good. What are you researching? Yeah, we are starting to research uh, shuttles, uh, shuttle related technologies because we need. Uh, I want to move out somewhere and start a new colony Maybe because. Incoming because this is a uh, cold terrain i don't want to build here and i don't think i want to go down maybe we will just start here and that will be it we are filling up this hole and we can put down a couple of domes here yeah, that sounds like a plan. Okay, I, I get back to you with the progress or if something interesting happening. Okay, guys, now we have no more cold waves. And in fact, we have no more uh, uh, meteor storms. So it seems that we we avoided or we, we defeated every uh, natural disaster so it will be uh, much more easier to go on also i had to build this dome to kill off renegades because they started to blow up the things around here but now i noticed if i build more security stations then they can we have a food shortage uh they can uh, oversee the renegades so it is only a matter to have enough uh, security stations and even they are uh, showing if uh, there's a red message down here if we need to build another one so i think i i'm stopping killing off the renegades and i try to keep them in check with security stations Okay, we have something new here, blood music. A colonist has somehow been completely changed overnight. Not just their personality, but also their looks and overall health. Rocket Captain has lost all traits and has gained the perks composed, fit and sexy. Okay, let's uh, research. I will research the case myself. Acting quickly, you perform some unconventional test on the still confused colonist. Research the new tech, anomalous genome uh, resequencing, to discover the truth behind the rapid change of rocket cap. Where the new tech has gained 50% progress. Okay, now that's interesting. Let's do just that because we are researching that. Okay.
also i've started to build uh, up the rest of the colony i think this will be enough for the 1000 colonists and let's see what terraforming project we can send this rocket on well nothing interesting i don't want to import any more greenhouse gases and the siege vegetations are oh then we are sending him to a siege veg vegetation we are making a progress there so so maybe in this uh, sitting i can go halfway with the vegetation that would be awesome okay we researched this we have discovered the reason behind the change that affected our colonists or construction uh, nanites they have mutated and have changed their behavior so in uh, melding our colonists into species of homogeneous individuals our research team has discovered the kill switch mechanisms to stop this what are your orders? Well, if they are turning to... They are giving them uh, very good traits. But I think we will do this the old fashioned way, so let's stop this immediately. So it seems that uh, the breakthrough technologies can give you various uh, events. Then I think I should research all of them. Just to keep this uh, uh, playthrough more fun and interesting for me. And hopefully for you. Buildings destroyed? Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe I should fix them. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Okay, another milestone. Megadome. Goal completed. And everything is happy and good here. So, what do we research now? How about water reclamation? Uh, I don't think I need the magnetic field generator. We wasted some research there, but that's okay. Well, we don't have any, any more uh, disasters, so we don't really need this one. Well, I don't see anything that we really needing quickly. Well, let's then let's do the uh, well. An archaeology would be. Would be nice. And less maintenance, of course, for in dome buildings and out dome buildings. Okay, that's a plan. And then let's put uh, a break to the, the rapid sleep. Shooting stars. We have located a large ice meteoritic cluster which fly nearby. It's, with, uh, it's well be within shooting range of the MD MDS lasers in one so We can destroy them to trigger a shower of ice crystals and meteorites uh, to the planetary surface. We have also to place additional MSD lasers in order to intercept some of the meteorites. Okay, we certainly do that because we can use some help with there so
This will be a real laser show, guys. Okay, and let's put a couple of down here. Or maybe some meaningful places. Okay. Hopefully they can quickly build it. Crop failure reported. Also, we have built some of this new base here. And I started here because we needed uh, uh, we need uh, food. If we have a lot of people here, we will need food. So I went ahead and started food production here. So this dome can uh, supply all of this little colony here. I put a shuttle hub here so they will have their own shuttle hub. Okay, all the all the lasers have been built. And we have a seed vegetation and a capture ice a storage project on the way. And we cannot do anything else. Also, I've noticed that dust storms still, or not dust storms, dust devils are still a thing. Uh, so I'm hoping uh, that if we put uh, greenery around the domes, that will protect us. But please comment down below if you uh, knew for certain that uh, forest can... Well, it seems logical that forest can protect us from dust devils because there is no dust here. But anyway, I would like to know for sure, just as you told me, guys, to build these rock formations to protect the colony against uh, dust devils. shooting stars oh we are gaining atmosphere from it okay precise fire only that's a couple of uh, I, I was hoping uh, for water oh and we do have a meteor storm for that Okay. Meteor incoming. It's so good that I put uh, these here. What's with this? Oh, it's over. Then salvage that and please. Don't fix that, we don't need that anymore. Meteor incoming. Shoot it down. Okay. And let's check the Meteor okay. incoming. We have enough water. Okay, new event, uh, or more precisely, we have a new planetary anomaly, and we decided to to go there with a rocket. So, Red Mars. The expedition was sent to investigate uh, a spectrographic trace of rich metals deposit, but found something much more interesting and troubling. After climbing the slope of a huge crater, we have faced an astonishing sight 
down below we saw the remains of a facility. Clearly a man-made one. The dust didn't manage to hide the rocket landing pads, the spherical concrete buildings and what most disturbing the large port holes on the ground which resembles rocket silos. Too much to be sure. Let's approach it and investigate. We approached the mysterious facility with apprehension, but nothing bad happened. It appears that the location has been abandoned decades ago. The facility has been picked almost clean, but there are still traces of evidence what happened here. People lived here and research was conducted. The silos are empty, but there are signs that at least two of uh, the five uh, hosted nuclear devices. The labs are the most amazing part of the facility. Most of the equipment and computer system were too heavy and unwieldy to be moved out of the planet. A new breakthrough tech has become available. The expedition will return shortly. Oh! Superior pipes. Well, too late for the party, guys. We don't really need you. Mars in flames. Whoa! Alarms follow the series of explosions through the colony. The ground is shaking and the people look in terror and uncertainty towards the horizon as the black columns of smoke quickly rise towards the bleak skies. We don't need to look uh, there to know what's going on. The damage and casualty reports says everything. You can't shake the feeling that this somehow related to the recent activities of your expedition team. The punitive sabotage strike has destroyed 5 buildings, 10 colonists have died and 35 been injured. Colonist has died. Okay, that's not nice. Okay, let's rebuild everything. Well, I don't need that. Okay, so whoever owned that base didn't like that we poked our noses inside. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Okay, we have all the sponsor goals. That's nice. So everything here is okay. And okay, we are we are progressing uh, in a good way, but uh, <clears throat> the seed vegetation has slowed a bit and I don't like that and maybe we can finish the atmosphere well no we are stalling so we need to do something about that and I don't really want more quakes so let's do the mega satellites still uh, had to do or or raise a lot of people so oh the renegades are we will need more stations okay then let's build another one security station here we go now we have another renegade event. Healthcare, who cares? Renegade colonists are protesting against the allegedly bad health conditions in the colony. They have closed off several infirmaries by threatening the personnel inside. All this to make their point, we can guess.
Let's send in the officers. Oh, everybody loses morale for 15 souls. No, let's another day in life on Mars. Research complete. Oh, we have, we can amplify all the research centers. Okay. That's handy. We got a couple of unemployed people. I think I might open this dome. So let's put down the S and S. Okay, so the necessary buildings. And let's put a grocer and a small alley. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I want to rebuild that. Because if we have enough officers, then maybe we don't have to rebuild that building. Now we need another polymer factory here. Oh, you're full. Now we have another present problem that we are not producing enough metals. And that is because we produce a lot of rare metals and when the rare metal storage is full here then we can't uh then the mohol mine shuts down and it doesn't produce metal either research complete so i quickly researched the automated storages and i want to put uh, a rare metal storage up here because i still want that uh, put the rare metals here first because this is an easy access for for rovers and uh, for shuttles but we need a uh, uh, bigger storage here and the building is destroyed uh, yeah okay it's still still this one Okay, now we have more. Well, we need this, unfortunately. So let's rebuild. We need more security stations here right away. Okay. Now let's put down security stations. Hoping that the thing with the infirmary is Morsequake. Okay, capture ice history project. Okay, I, I was wondering why this Morsequake here and I see that message. And we need a polymer depot here. Okay, I also researched uh the breakthrough which can uh, 
because I don't, uh, I no longer need to connect these uh, to water supplies, so they will fill up. Because I'm fear that we are a little bit behind of the water increase. Well, not that behind because we are most behind with the vegetation. And speaking of which, let's check. No, we don't have uh, any more vegetation. So, so that's why it would take so freaking long. And the atmosphere will, will get there, I think. Still, I think I will do the... What you call it? We can do a magnetic shield on space, which you will, uh, which will have to sacrifice a a rocket, but it's worth it because that won't cause uh, more squakes. Complete. Compact hangars. That means we can increase our shuttles. Yeah, and now we are just waiting for the seed vegetation project, and that would be all. And now we have breathable atmosphere. And we could open the domes, but I won't do that because this is still fluctuating. And I don't want to keep the close from leave them closed for now. Okay, that's uh, uh, a nice spot to be, but we will have to wait until we can send uh, a magnetic shield space. And it seems that we still have to collect waste rock. For the atmosphere processors. Or, or we just turn this off. That also could be a solution. The renegades are still causing problems, unfortunately. That will be the interesting part, I think, that we have to put an eye-watering amount of security stations in every freaking dome. 38 renegades in the dome. Yeah, more than half. And we still don't have enough. Uh, okay, that's, that's ridiculous. Mars quick, okay. And now I uh, think I told you guys I want to build lakes here, but I won't because we're getting just enough water uh, as it is, and I don't need I don't need to rush this. I need to. I would like to rush the vegetation, but. We just can't and this is why this is what i don't really like about the game that they made this uh, uh drawing out i know uh, the reasoning uh I, I read somewhere because you have to terraform uh, or put vegetation on a whole planet you cannot do uh, from just one point and let it spread uh, you had to do these missions uh, uh, over the planet that's fine but from a, a gaming standpoint this is just uh, uh, artificially makes it longer than it needs to be. But I know there is uh, a mod 
which will make uh, these guys because these guys increase in vegetation until 30 percent and after that they just stop and your only solution to get to the 100 percent vegetation is to do the missions and there is a mod uh, which is enable these uh, forestation plants to work uh, over 30 percent so there's no limit and I like that a uh, little bit of better, but I wanted to do this challenge without any mods. Because there, there is a, a challenging thing to reach the 1000 people with a lot of renegades and keep the society functioning uh, until we reach a 100% vegetation as well. So I can see the challenge there, but, but still. Okay guys, we finally uh, researched the magnetic shield and we deployed one. The magnetic shield settled in, uh, in its orbit and slowly began expanding in some blocking appendages. After a few minutes of nerve-wracking antip uh, anticipation, waiting for the self-assessment protocols of the sunshade to finish its uh, crew checkup, uh, a green sign appeared. The magnetic shield is operational. Then the cheers erupted uh, and so did several bottles of champagne. We did it. Congratulations, citizens of Mars. Okay, now this is was what I was waiting for. So now I am confident that we can keep the atmosphere. So I will open the domes. Also, we are uh, building up this dome, or rather this area now. And look guys, how many freaking sexual stations we have. And it's still not enough. Unbelievable. Same here. Yep. They are causing problems. I don't know what to do with them, well, besides executing them all, or, or many of it. We'll see, what I, I, I would like to finish these before... before... Uh, before reaching the house. Well, if we reach the 1000 colonists once, the goal is checked and it doesn't matter if we lose colonists after that, I think. Milestone achieved. Now we just achieved the 100% temperature, so one milestone is done. And three more to go. We are mounting a seed a seeding mission here. And a capture asteroid is on its way. But as usual, we are very behind with the vegetation. So most of the time I just uh, looking around and I think it's worth looking around because as you can see, not here, but here, the map is starting to turn green, which uh, I, I can't get enough of it. Of it. So it, it never gets old. Seeing uh, uh, the green taking, uh, recovering the map slowly. I never played a game uh, where, it, uh, where it was covered, uh, the, entire, the entire map was covered with green. And the renegades have destroyed the archaeology. What else? Well, uh, the last uh, building was destroyed the last time uh, uh, I make a cut and talk about how we are doing. So I think it's, it's okay. I think it's okay. Now, 
uh, the atmosphere uh, the atmosphere loss is went back 1.9 after the magnetic shield so I think we should build uh, this magnetic field generator uh, and I will build it here because it can cause more quakes so we will put it here and that will help us to finish the atmosphere We have still, yeah, we have still room in this dome. I think I have to build another one besides that. To have the thousand people. But we are getting there. Okay, new Renegades event, Street King. Wonders have sprayed obscene signs and drawings on several factories this night. And by the biggest such incident lately, it's not the first. We suspect a gang of renegades led by a self-declared street king named Utopian Comet to be responsible. So far they have always smartly evaded our attempts to catch them in the act. Clean up a factory and make sure it doesn't happen again. We can't stop the factories right now, the workers will have to tolerate the drawings. Use a rule as a trap and attempt to catch the leader. Let's let's try and catch the leader. Well we don't need the explorers anyway, so let's salvage it. Ooh, seed vegetation project. That's what we need. We are quickly sending it. Because we will have 10 more percent on vegetation. And we just lose the rover and no event. Ah, there's the event. Uh, event. The Vandals have fallen for your trap. They just couldn't resist vandalizing the unwatched rover just idling there. After some commotion, the regulators ran away, but the so-called street, street King was captured and brought to your office. You look the renegade in the eyes, yet you see intelligence and you see potential. A two-hold... A two-hour scolding uh, session seems in order. Then a wristband uh, to always monitor the kid. Hmm. Oh, we just... I wonder if this replace uh, the Renegade trait with just on him. Or, or with what all our renegade will be converted to that trait. It seems we couldn't find out this time around. And I don't know if there will be a permanent solution for the renegades. Maybe this no. Capturing the Street King does nothing to uh, our colony. By the way, I removed this uh, dome here because we are not doing great with uh, concrete. So I decided to research the dome streamlining, which will reduce the concrete needs for the domes. And I think we will build the excavator, which can produce dome for uh, dome concrete. It can produce concrete from the Martian surface. And yeah, the rocket is away. And we almost finished the first seeding project. It doesn't seem the green breaking the dust devil.
and I don't like that they are still here. Yep, it's moving on the green as well. Oh, guys! Look at it! We have no renegade problems here, despite we have 12 renegades in the dome. Okay, that's something Research new. Complete. So it means maybe we can reach a critical number here as well. Let's try. How about that? I'm putting down a few more security station and a small foundation between them. Why not? Milestone achieved. And we achieved the 500 uh, colonist milestone. That's another one, and one step closer to the complete victory. And I'm thinking, I think I don't, I don't do the the magnetic thingy here because of these guys. I don't like that dust storms are still around and they can damage that. And when they do, the atmosphere loss is increasing and the atmosphere will be decreasing. So instead, if I really, really have to, uh, I will put down another carbonate processor plant. And that will be it. Also, I think we don't build a dome here. We will build a capital city. Because look, it's it's very very big. And we can use it. I'm stopping it for now. And I think this is enough for the thousand men, so 500 more. Okay, but we need uh, a serious amount of water for that. And we will do it here, but... Okay, Mars Creek, because we captured some ice asteroids. Okay, now just a real quick look around. We finished building this and we put uh, quite a few buildings here. But it's still uh, mostly empty. Ah, I know what I have forgotten. I need a university here. Because we need quite a lot of officers. Also, these are increasing as much as they can. And the population is also increasing. Increasing. Sometimes they, uh, the renegades blow up something like a diner or a security station, but nothing serious, fortunately. And we are turning green. In many places, as you can see. Not here, but uh, around many places. New event, a curious one, Darwin nominee. You receive a video message. If you don't want to see the people of this uh, colony left without water to drink, you must do exactly as I say. First, I need a rocket. Then I need 500 million. The video abruptly ends there. A team of investigators is sent immediately and they found the following. 
The lifeless body of Laia Uranus next to a pipe leak. Cause of that, the premature explosion of some poorly made exposition, uh, exposition device. Mm, a great. Colonist has died. Great. <laughs> so it was indeed a Darwin nominee. Well, nothing uh, really changed. Maybe uh, we are further in time, but uh, we're doing seeding vegetation project. We are building this. I don't think we added since uh, I, I last show you. Yeah, we uh, uh, added these uh, gardens and fountains make it uh, prettier and basically we are still waiting uh, to increase these and slowly uh, also we are uh, increasing the colonists and I think maybe maybe the colonist will be the last milestone we can achieve because we are uh, progressing uh, pretty good uh, with these We need to catch only one isosteroid, and that will be all. And I stopped the automatic trade. I think I will sacrifice this rocket as a magnetic shield, if uh, we can do that in time. So I meant if we can, uh, if we have time to do that. Maybe because we finish everything before that. As you can see, we deployed the second magnetic shield and that should be enough. Interesting, it's still 1.9. I was expecting it would be 1.8. Okay. Maybe we should build that uh, thingy, but it's still increasing, so I don't know. And why our concrete is so low? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Maybe we should put down a few concrete depot here. Okay, guys, I figure out why was the concrete so low because the Omega telescope took it all yeah I started to build the wonders because I'm a little bit bored now but this is this boredom is feeling good if you think what uh, we have to do before this until we reach this point so a little bit of boredom is good Breakthroughs discovered. Okay, guys, interesting. The new Omega telescope give us more breakthroughs, and I haven't seen that this thing could stretch like this. It's always ended up right here, but I think yeah, we have three uh, mission related or story related research. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, nice! Faster drones. Let's do the last one first. It doesn't really matter. And we had the Forever Young and I wished uh, for that early on the game. Okay, we just received uh, the 100 person atmosphere. You cannot see it, but I think at uh, one point it jumped to the 100% and that was enough to trigger the milestone. Yeah, there it is.
but I think I will take measures to keep uh, that at 100%. And that measure probably building another uh, carbonate processor. Milestone achieved. And now, guys, we reach the one uh, one hundred percent water level. So it only remains the vegetation and the people. And I don't know. I'm still not sure which uh, one we can complete first. It would be uh, a ni not nice. It would be a, a change of things if we could complete the vegetation first before the people. But the people are are coming along quite nicely. We have all the homes for that. So we will see. And we need to do three missions of vegetation. Okay, new event. Renegade Turf Wars. The renegade, renegade situation has gotten out of control as of late, with many renegade colonies joining gangs uh, spread around the domes, competing for territories. We have info that a major move is uh, planned by one of the bigger gangs against their arrivals. Lately a lot of homemade weapons have started circulating the domes and we fear this will be a bloody uh, showdown. Let's pay off the leaders. That's the safest way. Money talks, right? You don't need the territory if you got the money either way, because the, from the territory you want money. Okay, so we evaded that. But anyway, our uh, renegades are well under control in every dome for a while now. So that's good. This dome is uh, a, a, a rather a police state, really. But uh, everybody is happy here still. of children once playing then let's build a few more playgrounds okay and now I think uh, the vegetation will be the last to finish because we're almost there with the colonists and I figured uh, we get uh, a seed vegetation mission in every 10 souls so we have two souls for the next mission and then another 10 soul so it will be 518 when we got the last mission and we will be finishing or, or around 521 2 something like that okay guys now i'm a little bit disappointed because we are at soul 508 and there is no vegetation mission which is a little bit of disappointing so this will be dragging on I guess this is the the only part I don't like uh, about this that they are artificially extending that but I'm already told that of course maybe maybe just 10 minutes ago because I'm recording uh, this last part in different sessions because it takes hours to finish it and I said it was uh, a, a little bit of boredom was good but now it's just too much however I was a little bit busy and I just put two forest rotation plants here because it's like why not and I think uh, I should uh, do a third one just uh, adding that uh, polymer blades there so we have more power maybe enough for the third one where is it I just uh, I want to see this kind of uh, natural landscape uh, covered in green. So that's why I'm doing it. And because I'm born.
but it looks so good. And here it's just it's just happening without uh, any help. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Okay, we have a 1,000 colonist, and we are filling up this rocket for another seeding mission, and we have to do only one after this, and that will be it. But it took 12 souls to get a seeding mission, and it will took four souls to complete. So we will end the game around 526. 530, so effectively uh, 20 more soul. Milestone achieved. And there it is. In the beginning it was just a dream, setting foot on another planet, surviving it, building a new future for humanity. Uh, through the devotion and self-sacrifice of our colonists and your visions and leadership, Commander, the dream has come true. Thanks to you, humanity has uh, a new future, a new path to follow. Okay guys, so this was the 1000% 1, uh, difficulty challenge for surviving Mars, which we managed to complete. I want to thank you if you watched the series uh, for that. And also, you gave me guys ins inspiration for this. If uh, I would try it on my own and not making any videos, I would probably throw in the towel after the first attempt. So I would said, okay, no, I, I don't want to do that. But it was good to working on it, figuring out the problems and solving them. Even if uh, we, uh, I, I choose the difficulty and uh, and the rules and which uh, which post sponsor which uh, commander profile we want to use but it was a, a, a really really great ride i hope you enjoyed uh, as much as i do and next time uh, we will start something new uh, a game called end zone i don't know if you uh, know that i've already uh, made uh, prepared a few video but I haven't finished the tutorial yet, uh, which means something about uh, how complex that game is, or it, at least it looks like it will be a complex game. Uh, and I pretty much like that. However, if you want more uh, Surviving Mars, then stay with the channel, because after we finishing End Zone, whatever that means, uh, I'm planning to do another Surviving Mars challenge play. I don't say what it is, but it's still not the Below and Beyond expansion or DLC. I'm planning to check that out. I, maybe we reach that in the next year. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for, again. Thank you for watching uh, uh, this series, and I see you in the next one. Bye.